Wrapped mask and canid eyes right here. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna in Halcyon. What can I do for you today? Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix the thing his own self, and busted it even worse, and then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough, so he's docking your wages again? Not that I got any prior experience with such. Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on Raptidon acid. Laws, no! Sometimes it's canid teeth. Or a mantis warm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Oh, I don't need any of it. It's also I can talk to Sebastian. He doesn't get going about much else. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. He's sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. I couldn't! What if he says no? Hey! Maybe you could ask him for me. I, I mean, a no would still be bad, but it won't be quite as embarrassing if you ask. Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Plus, he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Good to have standards, I guess. I know what I'm looking for. Not in Stellar Bay. Everyone else who isn't taken either smells like Saltuna or they're my boss. Besides, a man with a good smile and a proportionate upper to lower body ratio isn't something to pass up. You think that's what I'm looking for? <laughs> You're funny. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But I'll warn you, Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Sounds like wrapped in here. Oh, it does work. I bought some musk from Sebastian to cover up the saltina smell. Trust me, this is worse. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Did she now? Well, I can see I was mistaken. Because if Catherine really had sent you, there'd be a lot more expletives in your message. 
Hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grimm his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? She runs the bedding parlor across the way. Nice professional lady. She asked me about the poster once. Just once. Made a real generous offer too. Damn right it is. No, I paid Sublight for it, so it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grimm may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. Sure can, if you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. I got a feeling you and Catherine would get on like tumors on a pig. Take the poster then, and if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Something else on your mind? Caleb Herrick runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. So the job's easy, but you're not doing it? Something smells here. I mean, everything smells in here, but something's fishy. Uh, wait. He and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. Because we've got a budget, all right? And in case you haven't noticed, MSI doesn't exactly have a lot of spare bits on hand. Not on Monarch. Sanjar threw out the old work mandates and penalties. Sure, until your workers start making ridiculous demands. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the Yacht Club. He's usually there. Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. I would if I weren't busy here picking up his slack. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Stealing such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterile biotics we use for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton shifts. We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the Saltuna, fat and mostly tumor free. Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Cellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground six spacer. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Hard workers? 
They turn dials and flip switches. The machines do all the actual work. I'll wager she don't pay those folks that maintain the mechanicals decent, neither. Caleb and his crew have it better than anyone else around here, I'll tell you that much. I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. For running me ragged while he takes an extended leave at the bar? Not on your life. Maybe so, but I bet you Caleb runs out of bits first. Then you'll have to come back. He says he's got a stash to tide his crew over. Could be he's all talk, but if the money's real, I bet you he keeps it at home, near the diner. You'd steal from your own people? That's low, ma'am. That's business. Someone's got to keep the lights on. Fine by me. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was gonna spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker too. Never get the chance to use it these days. Something on your mind? <laughs> 